What is good everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel once again. Yes, the video is coming a little late this week. I'm sorry, there's been so much going on. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to home to Michigan for um, kind of some family family issues. Um, just gotta go deal with that. And I want to make sure I drop a video for you guys. I want to still make sure I put out videos for you guys because it's been crazy the past few weeks. I mean, the past two weeks, really. I mean, everything's shutting down. Um, people not being able to go out to stores, um, restaurants, all types of things. People are, people are hoarding toilet paper. I don't know what that's all about. I wanted to make sure I bought you guys content still. Still um, putting things out for my viewers and things that, things that you like for me to review. Um, but today we do have an unboxing for you. Well, I have an unboxing for you. It is a $700 unboxing. Um... It took a little bit of time to get here. I was expecting it to come by quicker, but it came on the day that I'm leaving. So um, I decided to just hurry up, make the video, and uh, get ready to leave. So without further ado, let's get into what this box is really about. So, yes. Like I said, $700 unboxing. Um, it says explosives on here because there is a hazmat item in here. And... Um, you guys will see what that is here in a second. But this, this bad boy, right here. And we're gonna jump right into this because I wanna take up any more of you guys' time. It's been long enough. Let's get it. I need to tape this thing up good. Lots and lots of tape. Put this thing around. So, I'm gonna put this on the ground because it's kinda heavy just to be putting in my lap and get out of here. Um uh, always got cardboard inside the box. I don't know if you know that's all about. Um always get some BBs. I always get BBs. I always want to make sure I have enough BBs and when I go out to the field that you know I won't have to be asking people to use their BBs. I mean I want to be able to use my own, but I got 0.5s this time, so I have 0.2s, 0.3s, and 0.5s now, 2.5s, so, uh, let's see, here is the Guard Dodge Aggressive Eyewear, so I did need some eye goggles, uh, and I did have some before, but they broke, so, I got some really good ones, I wanted to make sure I got some, some that would work, some that wouldn't fog up, because for all the airsoft players out there, they know when they're out there on the field and it's hot, and you know, just the humidity and just everything, it'll, it'll affect your goggles and you won't be able to see out of them. So I went and bought these bad boys right here. And I'm gonna see how these things fit. And they should feel, they should feel good. They got fog resistant wear around the edges of them. Let's see here, hold up. I probably should take the helmet off and see how these things fit around my bad boys, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can see how these good too. I can see great out of these. Can you guys see me? My magazine fell out of my pistol. Oh yeah, it ain't too big, it ain't too small. I may take a little bit of adjusting. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, and that is the goggles. I don't know if I should keep these on or if I should take these off. I don't know. I might. I, I might take them off. But let's get into it. Whatever else is in this box because I forgot honestly what I bought. I bought so much stuff. This is oh, Imlock Imlock accessory rail cover things. I didn't I didn't want like so many holes on my on my um cellular arm to dry. I have so many holes in it, and I didn't I wanted to fill up some of the gaps. So basically that's what it does. You know, fills up the Imlock space on your Imlock rails. Yeah, I'm gonna take these goggles off. Hold on a second. I'll take the goggles off. I'm already getting hot. Ugh. All right, we are back in action. So, like I said, M-Lock covers, got that. Those will come in handy for my M-Lock rail systems. I got a, um, you know, Picatinny rail for my, um, for my key mod rails because, you know, it's kind of hard to put accessories on those unless you have one of these. So this is gonna go on my MBR. Um, and it came with a sticker. That's cool. The mesh mask. This thing looks extra big. I guess I gotta put these through the straps. I'll do that later, but this is how it basically goes. It'll go over my face. This thing is huge. Oh my goodness. 
Why is the thing so gigantic? Yep, and then we got some rat magazines. These are 140 round mid cap magazines for the weapon I have inside of here. I want to show you guys that. These are polymer magazines, I believe. Put those back there. Got the Evite gloves. These are medium sized gloves. And nobody likes to get shot in their hands, okay? When you're on the field, I know me personally, I do not want to get shot in the hands. It hurts bad, okay? I'm telling you. Especially if you get hit on like one of the little small fingers, like the pinky. It hurts. Here, here these go. These have knuckle, hard knuckle. Y'all can hear that? So basically, if you get hit in the knuckles, you're not going to feel it. But these are supposed to be medium sized, so hopefully they're not too small for me. Oh yeah, they're, they're good. They're definitely good for my hands. Fit well. Oh yeah, they don't feel too big, you know, you would think the knuckle part is too much, but it's not, you know. Kind of looks, kind of looks fat, but the knuckles fit great in there. Great for weapon holding, great for all that. Oh yeah, I like that. Evic. Evic. Yeah, these gloves are about, I want to say 30 bucks, something like that. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy using those on the field, they're really comfortable. And they got little grips inside of them. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I'm gonna keep these on. A patch, umbrella patch, as you guys can see inside of there. I'll probably put this on my helmet. I like that a lot. That's another patch. This is the Aztec Warrior patch. This is all messed up, but Aztec Warrior patch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. I might put, I might replace that one with this. And then we got, haha. -ha. This is what was the hazmat. Okay, so these were these are the smoke grenades, the EG25 smoke grenades. There is ten of them in here, and what you do is you pull the cord basically, and smoke comes out of them. And I'll probably place those in here when I go to the field. Uh, I got, hmm. oh yeah, I got some CO2 cartridges for my for my uh, pistol. A short wire light bulb battery. This is for my Salient Arms because the other battery didn't fit. So this is a short wire light bulb battery. A thousand, let me see, 11.1 thousand milliamp. This is a link curve for grip. It's red. Let me show you guys what this looks like. I'll put this on my gun that I got. But this is what it looks like. Let me take it out of the package. I don't know what I'm trying to show you guys in the package. It looks like a dye packet kind of. I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, comment below because I don't know what the, I don't know what that is. Um, but they got an Allen wrench, an Allen key in there, and they got the foregrip. So that'll be good for me gripping the gun. You know, I'll put that on there. Feels good, nice weight, aluminum, solid. Then I got one of the best things in this bag: my weapon case. Okay. This is my weapon bag, so when I go to the field, I don't have to just carry my guns loosely so that the public can see, because people just freak out nowadays when you carry guns. And here it is, and it has a whole bunch of compartments on it and stuff. Um, I like this a lot, actually. A bunch of packages, just put the pockets to put magazines in, a little spot for a patch here. Um, they have, this thing can hold three rifles, by the way, so... This thing can hold rifles, I'll figure out a way. But in this front package, and then it opens too in the front. It's just so many things on this thing. I didn't notice how big this was really. <laughs> well, this comes undone and three and three rifles can actually fit in So this will be good to take out on the field. And I'll probably put my guns in it today. Very excited to have that. Now, to the bread and butter of this video. Um, I got the G&G. SR30, okay? This is one of their, another one of their high, high quality, high line rifles. And I wanna go ahead, I, I wasn't gonna purchase it at first, but I saw it, I saw the review on it, and I'm like, wow, I really need this gun. And this will be good for CQB, you know, um, in, indoor play, maybe some outdoor play. I'm gonna try to get this thing open here. And let's see what we got in here. All right, this beauty right here. Um, okay, so we got the SR30. Wow, look at this thing. And the weight of it, 
great, man. Feels great. I really like this. Short rifle, M lock. I'll probably end up replacing this like always. Replace the orange tip on it, put, put a real muzzle brake on there. Wow, man. The way this thing is amazing. And then like always, you got the you got the fire selects, the semi. Oh, semi and the auto. It is ambidextrous, by the way. It is ambidextrous. So, that's good. Oh, man, this thing is crazy. A six position stock. Not too long either, man. Oh yeah, I mess with this. I mess with this. And then you got the hop up, you know, like always. And here they got the rotary style hop up, so that's nice. You got the ambidextrous bolt. No, this is not ambidextrous actually. Oh, it is ambidextrous bolt release. That's cool. Um, yeah, and this is the rifle right here. So. Like I said, I'll probably do a, I'll probably do more reviews on this when I get back. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get through the video, you know, trying to show you guys what I got. Um, I got more stuff coming in, um, more God coming in. I'll update you guys on that as well. But uh, yeah, man, this is what I got. Now it's coming with a 90 round mid cap magazine. Yes, sir. And always, you got the loader. And the unjammer rod. So, or in, oh yeah, the unjammer rod. So, this is the gun right here. Beauty right here. I like it. SR30 was about 370 bucks. Um, and I'm going to shoot this thing. And I'm going to show you guys what it does um, in another video. But um, I thank all you guys for watching me. Um, it's been a really hard time. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys continue to come back to the channel. Because, like I said, I got more stuff coming. But uh, if you guys like all my reviews, you guys like what I post, you guys um, want to see more, uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys like this video. It always helps out the channel. And make sure you guys hit that post notification button so you guys will always know when I'm dropping a video. Um, like I said, uh, I'm sorry for the late video, but I had things to do. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I love all of you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sticking around. And I'll see you later. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.